All right, we are back on site. We are in beautiful Rockwood, Florida. And today we have a hose bib replacement. So this one is old and it's been leaking. So we just got the water shut off and we're gonna get started on this project. So let me show you what we're working with here. So this is the one that we have. You can see it's been sweated on, which means welded in plumber's terms and ready to be changed. So the customer has been complaining about it leaking and the biggest challenge is probably gonna try to get this guy off. We might end up having to leave that on there. We'll see how easy that comes off. But nonetheless, we're gonna get this hose bib changed out, make another happy customer. So let's do it. Here we go, getting the project started. Alright, so we've got the old hose bib off and right now the focus is going to be making sure that this copper pipe is prepped. So we're going to make sure all the paint, dirt, corrosion, everything's off of it. So that way when we put on our fitting, it will be a nice clean solder weld on there. What I like to do and what I've noticed a lot is a lot of the times there'll be just a hose bib itself sweated onto the pipe but i prefer to use these here it's a female adapter and what i can do with that is anytime i have a problem with my hose bib i can just take the hose bib off and not have to pull out any crazy tools other than a wrench so i've got that fitting and then i've got the hose bib here that's threaded male and this right here will last a long time and when it stops working, if that's ever the case, you just get your wrench, unscrew it, put a new one on. So that's what I recommend. Other people might have other ideas, but I think that's the easiest way for a homeowner to deal with their hose bibs. So something like this is at Home Depot or Lowe's, very easy to pick up and that's what I recommend. So we're going to get this copper pipe cleaned up, get the fitting on, make another happy customer. That's our goal. Here we go. All right, we've got our fitting soldered on now and we're gonna go ahead and tape up our hose bib and go ahead and get it all finished up. So when we wrap in your tape, you wanna imagine that when you're wrapping your hose bib and you're going this way, that you want the tail end to point this way. That way it keeps getting wrapped in the direction that you need it to instead of coming undone. We want to wrap in this direction. So we're going the opposite way that we're tightening it. So that way the tail end's pointing this way. When we wrap it, it'll keep folding that tail end down. And the Teflon tape should be doing its job pretty darn good as long as you put enough wraps on there. Put about four or five wraps on there at least and then when you tighten it you don't need to go crazy with it but you definitely want to make sure that it's snug so it's moving pretty easy right now i think i'm going to try to go one more time around and then we should be good 
does not have to be crazy tight. The tape will help keep it from leaking. That way when you go to take it off, if you ever need to change it, it won't be super hard to get off. We're gonna crack the water on, see how we did. All right, we got the owner of the property getting ready to turn on the main water supply line for us. See how we did. We've got this all situated, so we're gonna see if there's any leaks once we get it sit turned back on. We're giving a little test now. See if any water's coming out. Yeah, we got a little bit of water coming out. <laughs> That's good. All right, we'll let the owner do the honors of cracking it open full blast, but there's water coming out. So, we can see here there's no leaks. Might need a little touch up paint there, but that concludes the changing of the hose bib. So if you have projects similar to this one, this is definitely something that's it's not too complicated, but if you don't have the tools and the material, sometimes it can be a bit of a pain to try to get all, all of it together just for doing it once in your life. So you can always reach out to me, I'd love to help. And you can reach me at 321-355-2201. And yeah, be, hopefully you'll be the next that I can make happy. So once again, this is Ian with Your Hometown Handyman, helping you love the home you live in. Have a blessed day. Take care.